Hey everybody, welcome back. Just wanted to take a little closer look here at a variant of a Saudi Arabian desert camo parka with liner. I do have another video up um, describing this particular example, which has the Saudi Arabian National Guard uh, logo prominently everywhere all over it but uh, we're going to focus on this example here today uh, we're just going to take a look at it and make some personal observations on this particular example and not really get into the history of this item we're just going to see what we actually see on this particular example so if we just start right at the collar which I like to do uh, Right away we have a plasticized zipper, uh, looks like YKK, so those are their own feelings and opinions about YKK, you know, about that. Uh, let's see, we do have a nice hood on this one, it's quite thick, uh, plain on the inside, nice overlap stitching up the middle there I notice. Uh, we do have a very small, looks like an inspection sticker, so this may possibly be not issued or so. So we'll just tuck that back in. The drawstrings on this particular one, just so you know, do have the ball and cinch and do have a knot on there. I do feel one on this side as well. So let's go ahead and zip this up for now. The collar is cinchable, does have a very large velcro area or hook and latch, and this one probably needs a little bit of repair right there. That's easy repair though. And then let's cinch onto there. So you can cl close that and secure that for there for now. Uh, shoulders are buttoned down on both sides. Uh, no pockets on the sleeves. We just have the desert pattern, the cuffs, two buttons. Uh, I'm not sure we can do the alternate cheat on the outside. No, no way. Nowhere near long enough. If we had third button, we could possibly do it. Uh, but this is a pretty tight fit. I hope keep. Uh, Warmth in, sand out, debris, etc. There is one very small Velcro patch on this side. I just went ahead and put a couple IR stickers just to help locate that. We have short length and short height uh, hook and latch Velcro attachment points on both sides. Again, these are a little bit uh, smaller than on, say, this example, as you can see. Quite a size difference there. Uh, Pocket-wise, they are zippered and in slash diagonals. So they just go uh, a little bit down towards the middle. Side pockets are open and slash to the sides, just easy access. And on the interior, just to look at the pockets real quick, I can't get to them. They are inside this layer right here. Oh, nope, yep. Uh, if we quickly look at the liner itself, it is buttoned in all around. Uh, Label-wise, see the colors of Saudi Arabia. Uh, data manufacturer, this is a 2012. So that's a nice little tidbit there. Uh, I did look for other labels and on the interior, just real quick, at the armpit area are a couple of vent holes, but it is closed in this particular example and elasticized through the back. Label wise, we do have two languages. English as well as some Arabian. Pretty cool.
cool. So again, this is a digital desert pattern. Desert digital. Uh, cinch wise on the sides, we do have these long draw cords that go into these not very reinforced points right there. This is rather long there. Again with the ball cincher and there looks like a little bit of uh, slack taken up on this particular example. Likewise on this side, same deal. Um, the jacket overall closes with this large plastic zipper and the buttons are not marked any special and are all brown or tan beige. So that was a quick look at this uh, Saudi Arabian desert digital pattern. Again, I do have another video on this one which has the uh, Saudi Arabian National Guard logo on it. You can go ahead and check out that video as well. And uh, thanks for watching.